welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having an amazing day. So it's now nighttime. As you can see, the lighting's a little bit weird. It's not as bright as usual, but that's because it took me all day to do my hair and film this video for you guys. <laughs> I'm going to be showing you guys my full hair care routine, as well as a little bit of skincare, how I get glowing skin. Ever since doing my no heat challenge, I've learned so much about my hair and just learned that less is more. So I want to show you guys that. I even have a new way I shampoo my hair. Hey guys, so I'm about to go into the shower. So I brushed out this side of my hair and then I'm going to brush out the curls and stuff in this side. One of my biggest tips is to brush your hair before you go into the shower. Because dry hair is stronger than wet hair. So I'm gonna go wash my hair now and the next thing I want to say is that I'm only going to be putting shampoo on my scalp and not this part of my hair. I know that might grow some people out there like, oh, you have to wash the whole thing. But the thing is, what really gets dirty and what has the oil build up is your roots. I do just wanna say, if you have a lot of product in your hair, say you used gel or a ton of dry shampoo or something like that, then you might want to shampoo that out and then the following time, let this kind of chill and relax. But shampoo does dry out your hair. Keep it in the towel for as long as possible. So what you could do is if you're doing this routine before bed, you can put it in a light loose braid or bun or ponytail and then just go to sleep. But the big takeaway is that I don't like to blow dry it right away. Now we are gonna blow dry it. We're gonna blow dry the roots. That way we have some volume. I don't like super flat hair, but I do like to make sure my hair is as dry as possible. During this time is when I go in with skincare. When you get out of the shower, your skin is super dry, or at least mine is since it's winter so I'm now going in with my favorite skincare product you guys see this all the time I use this before every makeup tutorial every time I'm getting ready really anytime we're in my bathroom I'm using this product it's probably one of my favorite skincare products and it's by the brand Timi so it is their repair tea infused oil and I actually use this on my face and body so this is technically for your face but I mean I use this on my chest I use this on my arms my shoulders because I have really sensitive skin whatever goes on my face also goes on my neck chest and shoulders arms and it's really the way it should be a lot of you guys have bought this based on my recommendation and a subscriber actually gave me an amazing idea to use with this you can take your regular cream that you use for your body drop a few drops of this in there and then you can apply this on your legs this is infused with jojoba oil and vitamin e oil so the reason why i like the repair oil is because it helps with acne marks so like when a pimple goes away like for example this thing on my chin that was a humongous period pimple it was like a cystic pimple one that you couldn't squeeze just like under the skin but i messed with it and i played with it and i made it so much worse i like tried to squeeze it i tried to get rid of it and this is the only thing that made it go away and then kind of scab off in a good way usually i will take my jade roller and then roll this in just so it penetrates into my skin even more but we're gonna go with one more product it's a new product this is their vitamin c serum that has hibiscus. First of all, the packaging is my favorite color. It's infused with hibiscus. It smells like grapefruit. So it has this gorgeous, fresh smell. It reminds me of pretty water, my favorite water in the world. They actually sent me this product when I came home from New York. So when I came home from New York, I went to New York for Christmas time, and then I came back in January in the beginning, and my skin was all a mess. You see this pretty glow? We got a glow on right now. Oh, I love it. So anyways, I put this on. You only need a few drops, and I cannot tell you how tight my skin felt but then also marks like it faded i think because it's vitamin c it fades dark spots this will give you a glow but also keep everything right and tight what i do to penetrate that even more is i go in with a cold jade roller so i do keep this in my refrigerator you can get any jade roller that are on amazon they're I think they're at Sephora, they're everywhere. It makes your skin look so pretty. Now at night, I will glob this on my face. During the day, I only use a pea-sized amount, just like you guys saw, like I just 
put a little on my finger. It gives you like the slightest exfoliation, if that makes sense. So if I put it on at night, I start to get the dead skin cells, which I love. Like I love rubbing my face and feeling like the dead skin cells like it kind of sounds gross, but I like feeling it exfoliate, so I'll use like two or to three drops. But during the day, just the tiniest little bit mixed with this is just the perfect like after shower slight exfoliation, but like in like a gorgeous morning way. Both of those products together make a really nice canvas before you go in with your makeup too. So they're actually giving my subscribers 25% off using code SAMO. I will leave all of that in my description box. How cute is this set? This is, the pants are kind of looking weird right now. This is the loungewear from my most recent vlog that I showed you guys. I ordered a bunch of pajamas and stuff from Misguided and Loungewear. And this is my favorite set, it's so soft. Today is actually Valentine's Day. We're not celebrating today, we just like went to breakfast together but we gotta wear pink today in honor it's now it's later in the day and my hair is still not dry my hair does not dry fast at all but i do have choppy layers in my hair and i just have to say since doing my no heat challenge my longer layers are past my boobs and obviously this hair care routine has helped tremendously it's like with skincare less is more i actually even stopped using a heat protectant which i don't want to recommend that to everybody i don't want to say don't use a heat protectant but i noticed that i don't know with my hair like once i spray some stuff in it and then i blow dry or i let it air dry i noticed that my hair gets really weird I have, like makeup clogging pores i don't know i have like this weird theory you don't have to take my advice or anything but i have this weird theory that it clogs my hair pores, if that makes sense. So I do only use heat on my hair once a week, so keep that in mind. I let it air dry as much as possible, then we're gonna blow dry the roots, then we're gonna curl it, and that's it. And that will last me all week. So a lot of the salons I go to in LA use different products, they have different styles, how they do things, but there's two things that majority of the salons that I've gone to, at least for a blowout, they use the same two hot tools. The first is they use a Dyson to blow out my hair, so the blow dryer that they use is a Dyson. This one looks different just because it's part of the Iraq collection, which I do have to give back to my friend. She needs it for work. She got one for free at through work. So I have the whole Airwrap collection. I do have a video on how to use the Dyson Airwrap. It's so worth the money. If you do normally get blowouts, definitely get it. It's just you can't find it anywhere. If I could, I would buy one, but they're sold out everywhere. So unfortunately, I have to give it back, but it does come with a blow dryer uh, piece. So this is the before, very poofy. Okay, so this is the new curling iron that I use. It's the Rose Gold T3. It has all these little dots at the bottom. I turn it up to the second dot, so it's gonna start heating up. If you put this thing all the way to the top, when I first got this, I was like, oh yeah, and I just put it all the way to the hottest. Here, let me untangle this. Oh, all the way to the hottest dot. Oh my gosh, once it got this close to my face and I could feel it smoking, so be very careful with this. But one thing, I have to look up what its materials are, but one thing that I love about the wand is this piece, the white part. It is so silky when you touch it and you can just imagine how that makes your hair. This wand just has a great barrel and it does have a clip. So the clip is really going to be important. So if you have a curling iron with a clip, definitely pull that out. You have to learn how to use this in order to like it because I was so tempted to bring this back. The first time, the first three times I used this and I was playing around with it, I bought this around Christmas time at Ulta. I got kinks in my hair, like these awful, like I literally could take my hair, and this is when it was a lot more fragile, right when I got it colored, I could literally go like this and it could snap off. So it was just like, oh my gosh, I burnt my hair. It created all these like lines, like it looked awful. It was so scary looking and I was like, all because of this clip, like the clip made lines in my hair and I just couldn't figure out how my hairstylist in LA, because I got my hair colored in New York, I couldn't figure out how she created such effortless waves and curls with this thing, like just the way she moved it. Anyways, I started watching tutorials on YouTube and just kind of watching what people were doing and I figured it out. I'm just gonna, that didn't really do anything, but whatever, hold it back. So normally I do a middle part, but when I was blow drying it, it kind of went off to the side like this and I don't know, I like the way it looks. I'm gonna show you how to use it. So I don't know if there's other ways to use this to create really nice waves without getting the kinks. So I have to do it this exact way every single time. And I'm gonna have the clip, so see the clamp? It's gonna go up. So instead of having it down here, I have the clamp up. So the clamp is to the door. So 
we're gonna go like this. I start kind of in the middle, you go down, roll it under, get this pretty curl or wave, I guess we'll say, because it's more of a wave and I just kind of hold it like this while it's hot so it stays perfect like that. So as I was pulling it down, of course, my camera ran out of storage, but I'm just gonna move that guy over there so that you can see and so that I can see too. I'm gonna go here, pull it down to the, like kind of halfway through. Ah. And then kind of hold the tail. Once I get to about there, I might curl under again, depending on how wavy or curly you want it. This thing, I mean, this creates some serious, and then I'm gonna brush it out when it's done just because I don't like it like perfect, but this is like, when I'm getting a blowout, this is how my whole head looks, and then they brush it out, and that's how you get like that really gorgeous wave. They don't use a wand on me. So because you're moving, or my theory is because you're moving with the hair with this nice barrel, it's smoothing it out as well, making it look like you got a blow up. So now that I showed you, and then we'll do the other side together, um, but I thought we could talk a little bit about my no heat challenge and different things I learned about my hair and kind of using no heat. So the first is less is more. From my last blowout where I showed you guys how to blow it out with the Dyson, I put so many products in my hair. I still love dry shampoo, but that's another thing I actually changed. I don't even use that much dry shampoo anymore. It's crazy. I just use it the day before my hair wash and that is it. Because what I read about dry shampoo is it can be the cause of your scalp getting congested. Because think about it, you're stopping your hair from creating those natural oils. <laughs> that one came out really girly. Well, I use a lot more hair too. Yeah, I definitely chilled out with the dry shampoo. This one is still my girl, still my favorite. I just won't be buying and using as much, which is actually great because then it's more budget friendly. And if you can see, the whole time I'm doing this, my ends are out. So that's where your hair is the most fragile, so it's a really easy way to get nice big waves without hurting the ends of your hair. Next thing I learned about my hair, doing the no heat challenge. In the beginning, it's gonna look a lot worse. So anybody starting the no heat challenge, you might go like the first day and see that your hair looks split. When you blow out your hair or curl your hair or straighten your hair, you're sealing the cuticle and you're kind of making it look healthy and feel healthy and feel silky even though it's not just because you're using heat and that's giving it that effect. When you're not doing any of those things, so like the no heat challenge, it you can see all the, I don't know what it's called, but the cuticles open. So it looks like your hair is a mess. It looks more damaged. It just, it's really hard to look at at first, especially somebody like me that always has curled or styled hair. At first I was like, Oh my gosh, I don't think I could do this. Yeah, at first I didn't think I was gonna be able to do it. And then you're gonna power through. You're gonna keep doing it. It'll be easier for you guys to see another angle to see me doing this with the movement. But by week two, your hair will start to dry silky soft. It just, it needs that breathing time. You're gonna see. And now if you don't curl your hair that much or straighten your hair that much, then it should be no problem. It should be pretty easy for you. But yeah, I guess it all depends on how you do your hair and if you always style it like me or if sometimes you go without. Honestly, the way wave spray is what saved me. Like that stuff makes your hair so silky while giving it a slight natural wave. Like I'm gonna start going natural with my hair more often. Like I'm not gonna always have it curl now that I know how to style it. And that is the stuff that I will be using. <laughs> My hair has never felt silkier, and that's one thing that I had no idea was going to happen from the challenge because I've just always had drier, since my hair is more wavy to curlyish, underneath gets like really curly, these pieces, I just never had super soft hair. So I didn't really think that was going to change. Um, I thought it was going to grow more. You know, if you are, everybody's hair is always growing. You just might not notice length just because of breakage, you know, using stuff like this. It's not good for your hair. My hypothesis was correct. I did notice more length this much because I think you grow a half an inch a month. Okay, so now we're going to go this way. So it's going to be the exact same thing. So on this side, the clamp went that way. I think the front piece will do about this much. 
And then I want to start making them a little bit bigger. perfect curl. You could do this with your fingers, you could do this with a brush. I'm gonna start brushing it out. I notice it stays better too when I curl it and then I brush it out. And then I, everyone always asks me how I sleep. I'm just gonna shut off my wand. I sleep with my hair in a loose ponytail with a scrunchie. So that's everything guys. My camera's about to die. It's now dinner time. I gotta go, but I love you all and have a fabulous day. Bye.